Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Jason here with a little bit of a different video. Today we're talking about Elite Dangerous, specifically Elite Dangerous Odyssey and the console development, the console update that they just put out today. So I've been interested in Elite Dangerous. I really haven't played any of it because it looks interesting, looks kind of intimidating, but I was like, you know what? They were, they're releasing the uh, Odyssey update. This was last year, back in 2021. They're releasing the Odyssey update. I'll jump in on that. That looks really, really fun. Well, that did not go so well. But I thought, you know what? No, no, no. Don't hold this against them because everyone knows. We all know No Man's Sky came out in not the best shape. So, hey, give them some time. They're going to come out with some updates. They're going to clean it up. And this game will be amazing a year from now, you know, when they finally get everything cleaned up and good to go. Well, fast forward a year, and March 10th, 2022, not technically a year, because they launched in May of 2021, the Odyssey update. But in March 10th, that's today, they put out an announcement, an official announcement on the console development for Odyssey. And let me just read this to you because it's not great news. Greetings, Commanders. Elite Dangerous is a game close to my heart. That's how you know it's going to be bad news when they open with that. It's no secret that Odyssey's launch was less than ideal, including the need to split the PC console player base to focus on a PC-only launch. So it's not even on console, but hey, you know what? They had a year to, to, uh, to work on it to get it on console, right? Let's keep going. Since Odyssey's release in, release in May 2021, we have worked tirelessly to improve the Odyssey experience on PC. And whilst we have made great progress, there is still more to be done. We have been supporting the pre-Odyssey and post-Odyssey codebase since. Over the last several months, we have been wrestling with the best way to move forward. And it is with a heavy heart that we have decided to cancel all console development. We need to be able to move forward with the story of the game, and in order for us to do this, we need to focus on a single code base. Elite Dangerous will continue on console as it is now, together with critical updates, but will focus on new content updates on PC on the post-Odyssey code base. This means console is not going to get Odyssey, and also, it sounds like, maybe I'm wrong, but it sounds like no more updates. Whatever we're at on console, that's all you get. There's no updates. They're going to do security fixes and, you know, optimization patches, but they are not going to update the console version of Elite Dangerous anymore. Wow. We appreciate this news is not what our console community were hoping for. This was not an easy decision to make, but it was made with the long-term future of Elite Dangerous in mind. With regards to what is coming next in Elite Dangerous, we look forward to sharing further news in due course. David Robin. So, I maybe this might be the official announcement that I won't be playing Elite Dangerous anytime soon. Not because I have a PC, I have a console as well. But, to me, and this is my own personal opinion, you guys, so take this with a grain of salt, but Elite Dangerous looked really, really good. The Odyssey update looked really, really good. It came out, and everyone, I saw Hawks Gaming, I saw uh, Survival Bob, I saw Sword. Everyone was jumping in it saying, this is not good. This is not a good update. This actually makes the game worse. And I'm like, okay, you know what? That's fine. Bumps happen, things happen that, you know, it might not be the update that everyone wanted. It might be a bad update, but give it a little time and they'll listen to the community, right? That was in May, probably actually February, March of 2021. It, it launched only on PC in May of 2021. And now fast forward a year, one year... And instead of good news or, hey, we're listening or anything like that, it is, sorry, console players, you're done. We're not giving you not just the Odyssey update. Like, they didn't just officially 
say that the Odyssey update can't come to console. They said future updates, nothing. They are halting progress on consoles completely. So if you're a console player, I mean, and there, and as of this time, there is no way to transfer your, your uh, save from a console to the PC. So if you said, hey, look, I got the game on both, but I want to, you know, I want to transfer my save or I want to switch over to PC to keep playing Elite, you know, Elite Dangerous because I love it. There is no way for you to transfer that save over. You are just stuck with the Elite Dangerous that's on console right now. No Odyssey update, no future updates for as far as we can see. Maybe that changes, but I have a feeling it's not going to. If they couldn't do it in a year, they're never going to do it. It feels like, I mean, I don't want to say they're abandoning console, but that's what it feels like. I mean, who knows what's going to happen a year from now? You know, I'm, not, I'm personally, I'm not holding out hope for Elite Dangerous anytime soon. It's going to be a PC game. And I mean, I'm not a developer. I have no idea what troubles, what issues they had. But I do see other developers not having these issues. So I have no idea what the process is, what they're running into. But just comparatively... If you were to compare No Man's Sky, it's a whole different game, a whole different ball game. So, no idea. But No Man's Sky, Hello Games has a smaller crew of people, and they are working on last generation consoles, next generation consoles, PC. They're putting it out on Switch this summer, and they're putting out all the updates. So, I mean, you can say that it's more or less, you know, buggy at times. But at least they're pumping out content for all the platforms that it's on. They didn't halt production. I mean, knock on wood, knock on wood, that this does not happen. I mean, eventually it might happen because last generation consoles might not have enough power in the future. You know, they might hit a wall and say, look, we can't put an update on the last generation consoles because they're not as powerful. But, I mean, they're supporting it, and they have a smaller crew as far as I know. I mean, I'm not in the know on this, guys. So you guys let me know how you feel, what you think of this down in the comments. But this is not good news for Elite Dangerous. Not to me, anyway, because as someone who's interested, I never jumped in. You know, it looked a little intimidating, but I was always looking at, at Hawks Gaming. Guys, go over and check out Hawks Gaming. He is the guy. He is the one. He is in the know. I'm hoping he puts out a video. As of this point, he has not put out a video about this yet. But he is my go-to guy for Elite Dangerous. So I, I have no idea how the community is going to take this. I don't think it's going to be good. I wouldn't take it good because console players, I mean, you put it out there and you can't do it. I mean, come on. Anyway, I know I'm rambling. Sorry, guys. This is kind of a long video, a, long, a different video, too, because... I was really interested. A lot of you guys were asking me, hey, are you going to play Elite Dangerous? Hey, you're going to go try it out. I don't know if I want to. I don't know if I want to. The game, it doesn't look terrible. But again, I haven't do dove deep into it. Everyone who's played it has told me that the Odyssey update made it worse. Made it a really not, not a good game. And I was personally just holding out hope that they would be able to fix it. But, uh... Looks like that's never going to happen on console, and it might happen on PC, but that remains to be seen. It's been a year almost, and it's still not in a place where people recommend it to me. They they say you should try it out, but everyone who's played it says don't. <laughs> so, I don't know, you guys. This just, it makes me sad, because I want all of these games, these amazing games to succeed, and it's sad when a developer kind of does this kind of stuff to their player base. I mean, how many of you played on console? How many of you actually have booted up Elite Dangerous in the past few months or the past year and played on a console, on an Xbox or a PlayStation? I mean, is it worth it? it should I just should I even play it on PC at this point? I don't know. You let me know down in those comments, and I'll see you guys next time.